Hello friends, welcome to Mind Your Math YouTube channel, class 9 mathematics. In this video, let us discuss the solutions of formative assessment to 2022 to 23 mathematics of class 9. Let us see the first section. Answer the following questions. First problem is find the conjugate angle of 135 degrees. Conjugate angles means if sum of two angles equal to 360 degrees, then those two are called conjugate angles. So for this one, the conjugate angle is conjugate angle of 135 equal to sum of sum of two angles equal to 360 and one of them is 135. What does it mean? The conjugate angle will be 360 degrees minus 135 degree. If we subtract 135 from 360, we will get 225 degrees. So this is the answer for first question. How many dimensions a solid has? A solid has three dimensions. If you take a cuboid, it has length, width and height. Like that, a solid has three dimensions. Third one, two intersecting lines cannot both be parallel to the same line. True or false? That means we need to say whether this statement is true or false. Intersecting lines means the two lines are like this, intersecting at some point. These two cannot both be parallel to the same line. If these two lines are parallel lines, then these two will be parallel to the other line. So these two are intersecting lines. So these two cannot be parallel to the same line. So this is true. Next. The edges of surface are, the edges of surface are lines actually, actually line segments. We can take lines. Next problem. If a point Q lies between two points P and R such that PQ equal to QR, prove that PQ equal to one half PR. Suppose, let us draw a line like this, actually line segment. Suppose this is P and this is R. Now Q lies between two points P and R such that PQ equal to QR. That means suppose here if you take Q, PQ equal to QR. Let us write PQ equal to QR. Now we need to prove that PQ equal to one half PR. First let us take PR. PR equal to, we can write PR equal to PQ plus QR. So that is equal to PQ plus QR. This is equal to PQ plus, we know that PQ equal to QR. So instead of QR, we can write PQ. Now this is equal to PQ plus PQ, that is 2PQ. So we can write 2PQ equal to PR. Now divide both sides by 2, we will get PQ equal to 1 by 2 PR. So that is the proof of this question. Let us go to next section. Solve the following problems. Fifth, write any two postulates of Euclid. We have five postulates of Euclid we have in our textbook. Out of them we can write any two. So let me write first one. All the right angles are equal to each other. To each other. We can write like this. Actually, this is not the first Euclid postulate. Out of five Euclid postulates, this is one postulate. That's it. Let me write one more postulate. A circle can be described by its center and radius. Its center and its radius. This is another Euclid postulate. We have some more postulates actually. Third one, if you take a line segment can be extended. A line segment can be extended on either side on either side to form a straight line. These three Euclid postulates are not in order as we have in our book. 
but out of five i wrote three you can write any two sixth problem an angle and its complementary angles are in the ratio 2 is to 3 then find the angles complementary angles what is meant by complementary angles if sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees then those two angles are called complementary angles here those complementary angles are in a ratio 2 is to 3 so sum equal to 90 degrees and the ratio of the angles is 2 is to 3 we need to find the angles that means we need to divide the 90 degrees the sum 90 degrees into the ratio 2 is to 3 that's it so let us write sum of two complementary angles complementary angles equal to how much 90 degrees ratio equal to that is equal to 2 is to 3 therefore here the sum of these ratios equal to 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 so therefore angles equal to 1 is 2 by 5 into 90 degrees and the other one is 3 by 5 into 90 degrees so this is 5 times 1 this is 5 times 1 and 5 times 8 here also 5 times 1 and 5 times 18 this is equal to 2 times 18 is 36 and 3 times 18 is 54 degrees so the two angles are 36 degrees and 54 degrees let us go to the next section section 3 solve the following problem the angles of a triangle are 2x 3x plus 5 4x minus 14 all those in degrees find the values of x and measure of each angle of the triangle we know the angle sum property of the triangle sum of angles equal to 180 degrees so we need to add all these angles and make them equalize to 180 degrees here given angles equal to given angles equal to 1 is 2x 3x plus 5 and the last one is 4x minus 14 all in degrees sum of angles in a triangle that is equal to how much 180 degrees we know so therefore add these angles that means 2x plus 3x plus 5 plus 4x minus 14 that is equal to 180 degree 2x plus 3x 5x plus 4x 9x 5 minus 14 is minus 9 equal to 180 degree so 9x equal to 180 degree plus 9 which is equal to 189 be sure all in degrees actually so from this x equal to 189 divided by 9 9 times 1 and this is 9 times 2 and 9 times 1 so which is equal to 21 so x is 21 so therefore angles equal to angles equal to 2x 3x plus 5 and 4x minus 14 all in degrees that is equal to 2 into x is 21 then 3 into x is 21 then plus 5 4 into x is 21 minus 14 2 into 21 means 42 that is degrees 3 into 21 that is 63 plus 5 that is in degrees then 4 into 21 that is 84 84 minus 14 degrees so this is equal to 42 degrees then 68 degrees then this is 70 degrees so these are the three angles of the triangle next problem draw an equilateral triangle whose sides are 5.2 cm each i don't think i need to explain this problem let me go to the next problem in the given figure ab is parallel to cd ab where is ab you see in the diagram and cd where is these two find the values of x y and z you observe carefully x 70 x this x degree 70 degree and x degree this makes a straight angle that means 180 degree so we can write x degree plus 70 degree plus x degree equal to that is straight angle that means 180 degree x plus x is 2x plus 70 degree equal to 180 degree 
So from that we can write 2x equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree which is equal to 110 degrees. From that x equal to 110 divided by 2 which is equal to 55 degrees. So x equal to 55 degrees. Now to find out the value of y you see in triangle APE in triangle APE sum of three angles equal to 180 degree. So x plus y plus 90. So x plus y plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree. So x we know x equal to 55. Why? Because we found already. So 55 degree plus y plus 90 equal to 180 degree. 55 plus 90 is 145. So 145 degree plus y equal to 180 degree. So from that y equal to 180 degree minus 145 degree which is equal to 35 degree. So y value is 35 degrees. Now to find out the value of z, you see AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. Now you take CE as transversal. CE is transversal. If CE, if you take CE, this is transversal. Then this angle and this angle, these two angles are co-interior angles or consecutive interior angles we can say. We know that co-interior angles are supplementary angles. So that means x plus z in degrees, this is equal to 180 all in degrees. Because these are co-interior angles. So x, we know that that is 55 degree plus z equal to 180 degree. z also in degrees. So now from this we can say z equal to 180 degree minus 55 degree which is equal to subtract 55 from 180 that will be 125 degrees. So therefore we can write x equal to 55 degree, y equal to 35 degree and z equal to 125 degree. So those are the values of x, y and z. With that, the solutions of the question paper in formative assessment 2 of 9th class in 2022-23 are completed. Hope you understand each and every problem. If you like my explanation, please subscribe my channel. This is yours, Kona Kiran Reddy. Thank you.